Alta Lee! Happy birthday, Gary. I uh, happen to uh, be wanting to talk about blowjobs tonight. Uh, so yes, I'm a sexologist. I have a doctorate in human sexuality. I've been practiced for coming to 15 years. And uh, today I want to talk about blowjobs. So uh, being somebody who uh, has a mouth, and uh, have sex with people with penises. I was uh, dreading the day when I had to give my first low job. It just didn't even occur to me that uh, it was an option to say no. Unlike my many, many uh, other clients who later I found out that they, they refused to give a low job. So it did occur to me that I could say no, so I, I did say no, so I was like, shit, here it is. So I hated giving a blowjob, and uh, over time I, I got used to giving a blowjob. Didn't mind it, but didn't like it. And I was like, I, I don't really think I want to go through the rest of my sexual life giving blowjobs and just being blare about it. So I read up about it, and I practiced, and I got better. And I started getting compliments about my blowjob techniques. Mm, like, you know, you're really good, things like that. So, because I started getting compliments, so I started to like giving blowjobs, and uh, then there was that spirit of lifelong improvement instilled uh, upon us by the government. So I, I just got better and better, and uh, then I started to love giving blowjobs, and uh, now I teach it for a living. Uh, that's part of my work. So yes, from hating it, to not minding it, to liking it, to loving it, to teaching it, what I'm trying to say is it's actually a journey. It's a journey. But if you actually shut down your sexuality and just like not open to it whatsoever, then yes, it's not going to change. So with my clients, uh, what happens is that a lot of them say that uh, they find uh, giving blowjob, the idea of it, uh, dirty, disgusting, smelly, um, and also they just find it demeaning. Um, so having worked with all these people, I have uh, many tips when it comes to giving a blowjob. Um, I think that's his mom. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so yes, so these are the three tips when it comes to um, giving a blowjob. The first one is um, you can actually do the look test to see if there's any dangling uh, tissue, toilet paper. Just use your eyes and look. La. Then after that, use your nose and smell. Then after it passes the look and the smell test, uh, if it doesn't smell good, you can always reach for a wet wipe. So that's the first tip. The second is that uh, you really, really don't have to do it all. Uh, so there is this technique uh, where you can use your hands to act as a stopper. So that can save your throat. <laughs> or maybe your life. Your, 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 I mean your, 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 yeah. It can save you. So, uh, so don't think that just because somebody is uh, thrusting into your mouth that uh, you have to uh, go all the way and uh, that creates uh, basically the gag reflex. The third tip that I have for you is uh, when it comes to uh, people with uh, penises, uh, really there's no, there's no um, gender attached to the penis. It's, it's just something that um, hangs out. Uh, what happens is that uh, the exchange of bodily fluids can actually um, make the potential uh, baby healthier. So these are some uh, tips that I have for you when it comes to uh, receiving, absorbing, accepting, liking, loving, uh, giving blowjobs. Okay, that's all. Woo! Yo, you